All right, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm a little bit uh, out of my league on this one, but somebody asked how to do it, and I thought I'm going to figure out how to do it. They wanted to make a silhouette of a child uh, off of a photograph, and the only photograph I have is of this young lady, and and. There's two ways that I know how to do it, and one of them would be to just zoom in, and this would be the old school way, and then just start drawing around her face, getting it close, and I'm not going to take a lot of time, because you could take a lot of time doing this, and then, you know, go around her hair, get her ponytail holder, get away with the glasses. And then you've got this shape, and then you would just go back and and zoom in and add nodes. And you can add nodes by double clicking on the line. And and then you can just play around till you get it close. And that's what I actually did on this one. And it's not too shabby. Now on this one I used, which I've never used before. I used Cutout Lab in, in uh, Photo Paint. And let's zoom in here. And you, so you go, I can't, well, anyway, you go to Photo Paint and it's up in the view or somewhere. I'm not very familiar with uh, Corel Paint. But then make your nut and nib size pretty big and your different colors of highlight. And you just grab your nib. Okay, how do I get out of? Okay, then you grab your nib and it's, I got it set on 70 and I don't really know what that means. And what you want to do is you want to go right down the middle of your outline, trying to get every you know, thing. And there again, I'm not going to take a lot of time. You could spend a lot of time. You could actually include her hand. So, you know, you see what I'm doing. I'm going back. Uh, if I didn't get something and you can go away. And I apologize because I really don't know what I'm doing here, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Then you can take and color fill it. with that blue and then you can kind of see you know some things that your uh, you your nose in color feel but then you can go to and I'm kind of lost here these ought to be hot okay it's processing now you can add and take away and that looked pretty good you know if you want to be get round to it I mean that's but you see her hair so you could you could add, and this is, I have Corel Draw 6, so I don't know if Cutout Lab is in what version's down or for surely that's in the version up, but you can see how you can add, and then you can also take away if you've got too much, because you wouldn't want these straggly pieces of hair. In some cases you would. But then you would just save it and open it up in Corel Draw or import it into Corel Draw. And it's pretty good. It's got some, you know, it's got some hiccups right here, but you can go and, you know, uh, use your shape tool and get rid of those and maybe smooth these out, you know, on a girl's hair or a little boy's hair. Because I would think you'd be doing this for a younger child. You know, a little straggly hair might be uh, something you'd want. But, you you know, you want to look at their lips and their, you know, that's probably the most important. You know, you wouldn't want to let that right there go. But then you could always take your outline. Let's just remove that outline I did earlier. You could go and left click. 
right click and then move that over to your picture and just see how close you are. Then all you do is just right click, left click, get rid of the outline and there's your silhouette. Hope that helped and thank you for watching.